today I've done another Halloween or fancy dress look, which as you can see is a dead girl with a slip throat. So to start I'm moisturising, prepping my skin for the makeup that I'm going to do using Simples Moisturiser. To create a deadly white base I used a CC colour corrector from Max Factor which was the lightest thing I had and then uh, blended that in with Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day in Peach. To go over the places on my face with more coverage, I went in with my concealer from Revlon, which is really light for me as well. I use it for highlighting, and I just went all over my face with that on my blemishes. To set that all, I locked that in with translucent setting powder, which is by Rimmel. I'm using a black eyebrow powder. I filled in my eyebrows quite blocky and thick. Using the Morphe 35N palette, I took the matte black eyeshadows, which are really pigmented, and applied that to my eyelid, and then blended it out with purple eyeshadow that's also in that palette. And I didn't mind bringing it up quite high as well. And you can be messy with this eyeshadow because obviously you're not trying to look perfect, you're trying to look dead. Taking the same eyeshadows and applying that underneath my eyes on my lower lash line and with that also I brought that down quite far and into the inner corners of my eyes which creates a really dark shadow. Then with the warmth of my finger I went along the edges and just blended it out which really helped. I think helped better than the brush I was using. Then I curled my eyelashes and applied mascara. I didn't apply false eyelashes, but of course you can if you want it to look a bit more glam. Taking actually a lip liner from Kiko, which is red. There's me looking sharp, but it's working. It actually worked better than an eyeliner but obviously I made sure that I um, sharpened it really well so I don't know hopefully that helped. <laughs> applied it all in my waterline and then along the sides of the inside of my eyes if you see what I mean and that created my eyes to look a bit bruised and just not great. Then taking Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick in Unicorn Blood I applied that all over my lips and this is a really beautiful colour and formula but I will not be buying any more and you can read the bio bar for that. To contour my face loads, I'm using Kat Von D's contour kit and I'm using the more greyish tone one and then going over the same place with black, a little bit of black eyeshadow and blending those two together. And I also, if you pull this sucky on face, uh, you can pull it down as you can see me doing and that creates like a really uh, cheekbone look. <laughs> and then using some uh, black eyeshadow I went along the corners of my lips for a uh, ombre kind of look. And then using all of these lip liners, uh, black eyeshadow and that purple, purpley pink kind of lipstick, I used those to create my next look. I basically would apply some of the lip liner, blend it out with a synthetic brush, just messily, and then keep reapplying it until I was really happy with it. Thank you. 
you want this around the wound to be red and bruised but the actual wound itself like now I'm applying strip down by MAC which is more brown and then black on top you want the actual wound to look more hollow but it's more of a trial and error thing so I just kept going back and forth until I was really happy with it And once I was happy with it, I applied fake blood, which I applied on a earbud, and I put loads on the earbud, and then I just pushed it into my skin and let it drip. And what I found that best was to apply it along the bottom line of the uh, wound, if you see what I mean, so that it looks like it looks more like a wound rather than I've just drawn it on. I also applied some blood to the corner of my mouth, but I didn't love that too much, so I don't know, it's up to you how you want to do it. After applying the fake blood, I went back in with eyeshadows and lip liner to apply it around the blood until I loved it. And that is the whole makeup look. I hope you enjoyed it and just to let you know, I will be uploading more Halloween or fancy dress looks even after Halloween just to build up my channel and personally I would still watch them.